So Kubi means neck in Japanese, and it's a robotic stand for tablets that lets you remotely control where you look over the web. The Kubi gives you control of 300 degrees of pan and 90 degrees of tilt, so you're actually in control of the camera and the video feed at the same time. So you can see them, they can see you anywhere in the room. You can follow the action. It's a really natural experience that actually gets the Kubi out of the way and lets your loved ones enjoy the experience without even knowing it's there. <laughs> so the, the, way, the way the thing works right now is we, we, have, an, uh, we have an application running on the iPad uh -huh. that we're doing the video conferencing from. That application talks to the base, talks to the Kubi via Bluetooth 4.0. Mm -hmm. And that application also serves a web page. Mm -hmm. So that web page is available on the local network for now, and it looks like this. Okay. You can see that. Right. So that's a grid of absolute coordinate positions. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping, and that sends that sends um, a set of coordinates to the Kubi. And right now we're in the process of putting this. Uh, on the wider web, we're setting up a, an Amazon server to handle this. And the idea here is it's an absolute coordinate grid as opposed to, to you know, directional arrows because this way there's no issues with latency. So you click on a position oh, and it'll okay. go to that position. Okay. It's not like you're going to keep clicking and overshoot. Right, right. Um, that's a huge step above the, the standard video conferencing camera controls, which are, you know, start, move, stop, move kind of a thing that just doesn't really work well with Skype or FaceTime or, or these um, yeah, the, consumer grade. There, there's so much time lag that you end up overshooting and going back and forth, and then it distracts you from the conversation. Exactly, exactly. And, and you, you'll just shoot past the person. Um, so because we're, we're stationary, you know, desktop and not roaming, we can actually get away with this, which is really nice. Because mm -hmm. uh, I feel like high latency for roaming telepresence is, is a deal killer. Sure. Completely. Okay. So I'm connecting. Okay, there we go. And it says access code. There you go. Okay, so now, now if you go me. like on that same row or column, that will be your pan. So if you stay on that same row, yeah, let go all the way to the right, and now you see it just pans and you turn to the right. And okay. you can go all the way to the left. You can see Marcus's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes all the way to the left. So you can kind of notice like where you see like, it's basically pointing at me when I'm at that one square that you were at just before that. Right. But yeah. then now, you know, say I, I get up and stand up and, and, you know, go somewhere else, you're able to still, you know, follow me, see where I, see where I went to, you know, and, and change your tilt angle as well. Right. Or if we want to show you, you know, like you can look down here and if you want to see, you know, what's going on on my cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be taking it away from this web interface when you're using a touchscreen device because obviously that's not too natural. But, uh -huh. you know, so now you can, like, see where we can actually be showing off, like, this is actually, for example, is, is our interface of the actual app that's, uh -huh. that's controlling it. Um, is, is we have a, a Kubi app, and then you can open that and then have the controls. Uh-huh. So we're really empowering you to, to be in control of where you look, that mm -hmm. you don't have to be asking somebody on the other side saying, hey, you know, can you turn the laptop for me, you know, right. and, and as well, I see you're looking at me, so I know you're intending to address me right now and not, you know, Ilya. Uh -huh. That's super. And and Kubi, Kubi actually means neck in Japanese. Right. That's right. What, what, what the name of the product is, and that's literally what we're you know doing is giving neck like functionality to your tablet. Uh huh. No, that's great. That's fantastic, actually. <laughs> and then, so so this is the you, you showed him this version. Um, no, well, he's seen the video. I've so seen the video, the video, but, but this is the actual. 
uh, you know, prototype of the one that we're uh, bringing into production and to where it has the, uh, the tilt axis, you know, moves uh -huh. right along uh -huh. here and then the, the pan is based on the base uh, right here. Okay. And it's and adjustable to... The, no, go ahead. And then we've created the, uh, the mount to be conformable so that you can do, you know, this is the iPad mini, you can take that in portrait or landscape mode, you can take the regular iPad, same in portrait or landscape mode, and even Microsoft oh. Surface or Android tablets, all those will fit in here. And, you know, we've designed it to be flexible, so even, you know, I've already heard rumors of a new iPad 5 coming out right. in March, and... Right. Really? And Already? It's oh, supposed yeah. to be thinner and whatnot, <laughs> but it shouldn't matter. It'll fit here. And, and, yeah. and in fact, like what was really interesting to us was we, we started designing this before the iPad Mini and the iPad 4 came out, but they decided to put the you know 720p HD camera in right. that. And from day one, when we re when we received that, we loaded our app, and now instantly Kubi was upgraded and it's now HD mm -hmm. because they upgraded the iPad. So we didn't need to go through that development process and you didn't have to wait for us, you know, to upgrade our product in mm -hmm. order to... Right. And we don't even have a hardwired connection to our platform. It's just a Bluetooth connection. It's a Bluetooth 4.0 connection that's going to stick around for a while. So right. there's like a Lightning 2.0 connector or God knows what. That's okay. We don't okay. really care. Right. Yeah, we just we just provide you with ample space to plug in your your native cord, mm -hmm. and we're looking into maybe putting in a, a pass through USB jack up up right. at the top of the neck. Right. So you could just run your your uh, your native cable into it because USB is going to stick around for a while too. So mm -hmm. we really wanted to make it upgradable. That's kind of the point of, of uh, mobile for robotics is you know by the time most robots are released nowadays. Mm -hmm. They're obsolete because of the, the development life cycle of a robot versus the development life cycle of, you know, Moore's Law. <laughs> <laughs> so with this, even while we're developing the Kubi, you know, iPad 4 came out, we increased its capabilities without changing anything. It's, right. it's awesome. Right. Right. That, it that's what was really compelling to me about getting into robotics now. And, and a lot of the updates can be actually done through software. So like for example, we've been having a number of different software developers reaching out to us who already have or are about to be launching video calling softwares that are mm -hmm. trying to, you mm -hmm. know, compete with the Skypes and FaceTimes and those types of things. And they're they're like getting really excited about uh, implementing controls for Kubi in it and and that's all within just software updates. So sure. It's a new app that's going to be on there, and even you know if they come up with they want to have motion tracking or face tracking as as a next generation, those mm -hmm. can all be just added in as software updates. That's fantastic. That's so I need to go buy a new robot. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that really appealed to me, that really struck me uh, when I first uh, saw Kubi uh, on the uh, website, was the uh, style. I mean, most of the remote telepresence products have, you know, some uh, functionality advantage. They uh, do the job, or they they attempt to do the job, but they look like they were cobbled together at uh, the uh, local Best Buy, or uh, you know, between Best Buy and Home Depot. In that, and it's they aren't something that you would want to have in a professional environment like a hospital or. A, uh, legal office or uh, a lot of the areas where early adopters are going to uh, adopt right. the uh, technology, like the, the finance industry or something like that. And Kubi has so much style, it looks like something that would fit with, say, an iPad, which has tremendous uh, style. So oh, it's, I mean, it's designed to, right? Like these, these arms, these arms are, have the same surface finish as your iPad for right. that exact reason. Right. And our intent is to go into retail, you know, mainstream uh -huh. retail, 
And when you're talking about that, you know, you want a design that hits the most demographics. So you don't want to design it for a male. You don't want to design it to appeal to a female. You just want it to be clean and follow function, but still have good form. Right. right. And just be very gender neutral, very clean. And that's, that's hopefully what we have. <laughs> but yeah, the intent is to go to the mainstream retail where sure. it'll look good in your living room or you know, in the boardroom. In terms of the interface, it's it's really simple. I, you know, you've seen me go back and forth between the two of you as right. we're talking, and uh, wow. it's, it seems very intuitive to me. Of course, I'm a power user, so, uh, you know, maybe I... No, you know what's stuff. funny? Like, you, 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 you probably, like, you already have a mental map of, like, where I'm sitting and where Marcus is sitting. Right, right. And you're... This this interface seems to be pretty pretty intuitive to just kind of start memorizing and, and learning your environment. I mean, I've spent a couple of hours on this, like, mm -hmm. um, cooping into parties, and and you get the situational awareness of this is where I am, this is where those people are, this is where those people are. And right. You, you remember it on the grid because it's a spatial grid. Uh -huh. You understand things in terms of absolute coordinates, so. and, it, and it, it's it, really it, nice that you're that it's not like a directional pad. Like actually, a lot of right. the camera controls on existing uh, video conferencing, it's just up, down, left, right. Uh -huh. And so then, if you're like all the way, you know, down here on the left, and you want to go up there to the right, it's it's a lot of tapping. Right. You know, it's like right. tap, 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 right. tap, right. and that's what. We initially started with that one, and we're like, no, we need something to be able to have those large motions all at one time. Uh -huh. And so that's why we came up with this grid. What I'd really like to you know have I mean? is some uh, a little bit of uh, memory, where one of the, the squares, uh, like, if I was over uh, in the previous position, I'd like that to be like a light yellow or something, so that I could go back there. Right. To that exact right, right, square right. very easily because here, you know, we're going back and forth between talking to the two of you, and I'm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I, so I really wanted to be you up could there. Have even, we hadn't thought of it that way, but you could do it could where, do it was, change. where it was colors. So it's like maybe the last four colors you touch, or the last four squares you touch, like have a little That's bit of a different idea. color. So do it on a timer based thing. Um, but. When we're we're working to create our integrated app, so where it's going to actually have video, right. um, video integrated with controls. What we're looking to do is you'll be able to actually like tap and hold the position, and then what it'll do is snap a photo of that and put that down at the bottom. So then now you would have at the bottom of your video screen, you have right. like a little snapshot of Ilya and one of me and maybe other views that you wanted to have, and then you all you have to do is tap on that. And it's going to go back to that position. Okay.